So how can the, the oneness be identified with so million me's? Mm -hmm. well, the one is me. Me is the one. Me is oneness, appearing as a me. There, isn't, there aren't any me, there's nobody. But me appears as the oneness in the body and then uh, the, that energy uh, in the body convinces uh, is a conviction that there is a me there. Me becomes that, there's an identification. Oh, I am a person. It's an illusion. But all of that is simply oneness. And you say, um, the you're an illusion, so an illusion can't dispel itself. The more it tries, the bigger it gets. <laughs> because the whole nature of me, the whole essence of me, is to live, to only exist in time, and only, well, apparently exist in time, and only apparently exist by itself knowing itself. Me can only live in self-consciousness, in self-knowing. Consciousness means knowing. So me knows it exists, and then suddenly that apparent certainty that it exists simply collapses. But all the time it knows it exists, the clock's ticking, it lives in a story. It can only exist in a story in time moving forward. It lives in what's next. I know I'm me, and what's next? But it's only oneness, it's all wholeness appearing to be separate from itself, rushing around all over the place looking for it, looking for an answer to that. And it's all beautifully meaningless. So it's also meaningless everything I do. Yes, So all teaching is actually personal and dualistic. Because it's offering something to the seeker, to the person. There is also no reincarnation. No, there isn't the because no, there's no reincarnation <laughs> because there was never anybody there in the first place. So there's nobody that dies and nobody that's reincarnated. no past lives. No. So you weren't a great Egyptian queen. <laughs> <laughs> or a mystical healer or 
even a lavatory attendant, which nobody claims to be, I've noticed, in their past lives. I was a lavatory cleaner. <laughs> It's always something strange and <laughs>